Well, don't monkey with another monkey's monkey If you don't want a gorilla on your hands I monkey with another monkey's monkey And I met a gorilla man <laughs> We were really turning it on And boy, I was having some fun That's when I discovered I was holding that gorilla man's fun I'd like to welcome everybody to Skip's RC's Summer Series uh, Trophy Presentation. Uh, we had a lot of fun this summer. It was nice and hot in the old metal barn, but we had a good time. Uh, and first trophies we want to do is the truck class, and I happen to come in third. Yay! Uh, second... Yeah. <laughs> uh, second was Joe. Uh, good job, Joe. Appreciate it, sir. And... Larry put the whooping, Larry Bailey put the whooping on all of us. Uh, we're, real, we're real proud of him. Uh, I think Joe and Larry both uh, showed if you do a thing with it, you can make a car go fast. Uh, next thing we like to do is our modified group. Um, in modifieds, we are missing a couple folks tonight. Um, Jake Richards couldn't make it tonight, but we have Brian Moore. And Mike Kraft. Uh, Mike came in third this year. Uh, hard charger. Uh, Mike races with us uh, occasionally. occasionally. Runs four or five classes, and uh, he's he's a force to be reckoned with. Uh, first place this year is Brian Moore. Uh, if you've seen Brian's cars, he runs low sliders. They're yellow, uh, blue number or red numbers. I'm sorry. Uh, Rick couldn't be with us the season this year, but uh, the Moore boys have have uh, put on a show for us. It's, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, next up, we'd like to do our late model trophies, which would call for uh, Blake Sharp, who couldn't make it. Uh, Mike Kraft is here, and Hayden Rick couldn't make it. So again, Mike, good job, second place in late model. Thank you guys, thank you. You can't beat it. Uh, like I said, we appreciate you running all the classes yeah. you run. We really do. Uh, Hayden, look out, I'm coming back, buddy. Yeah, Hayden Richards couldn't make it. He he uh, spanked us pretty good this year. Uh, he couldn't make it tonight, but I'm sure he'll be here next time to get his trophy. Uh, next class we like to do is our short course trucks. Uh, if you guys haven't run short course trucks, you've really missed out. We've had a lot of fun with them. Uh, Blake Sharp was our third place finisher in short course trucks. Uh, second, Eric, come on up. Good job. You're the man. Uh, Derek runs with us pretty much every Wednesday and Saturday. Uh, we appreciate your support. Uh, and you've got your short course truck rocking. It's, it's, uh, yeah, I'd be proud of you. Absolutely, absolutely. Did a good job. Uh, winner of our short course uh, trucks this year was Nate Carmichael. All right, All right Nate. Uh, Nate started with us, I think, really the beginning of this season. And uh, uh, he's been real consistent, uh, runs into front every week, and in turn, he's, he's won our championship. I'm, we're real proud of you. Congratulations. All right, last but not least, we have our sprint cars. Uh, sprint cars, we had Larry Bailey again. Good job. Larry ran uh, third in our sprint cars. Uh, did a great job. Uh, the, uh, Larry runs the Losey Slider, kind of like the Moore boys. Uh, and it's super fast, so good yeah. job. Good job. Right. Thank you, sir. All right. Second place in sprint cars. And I dropped it again, sorry. Second place in our sprint cars was myself. Uh, imagine that. Uh, well, I showed up every week is the reason I come in second. Good job. Again, thank you, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Uh, and our champion of our sprint cars was Brian Moore. Uh, again, great job. 
Look for the yellow number 55 out there, Losey Slider. He's, uh, Brian's kind of showed us all how to, yeah, castle powered. Uh, Brian's kind of showed us all how to make those sliders run strong. Uh, he's one of the few guys who run stagger, which is kind of fun. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you very much. Okay, the other class that I'd like to, uh, uh, we didn't have a lot of novices this year. Uh, but we do have one guy that's just done a great job. He's with us tonight. Uh, he's running super strong. And uh, I'd like to award our first place novice trophy to Mike Carmichael. Right. Mike is, uh, brings Nate pretty much every week. Uh, you guys only started at the beginning of this season, and both of you have just done a great job. Uh, I, I don't know many folks that have come to this sport and caught on as quick as you have. I mean, you ran with them tonight in the trucks. I mean, you've done a great job, and we appreciate it. Appreciate your support. Okay. All right, that'll do it for our trophy presentation. Uh, we are going to run a uh, fall series uh, on Wednesday nights. We'll be running one qualifier and features. That allows everybody to get home in time to go to school. Uh, price is still the same, $10 first car. Uh, $5 for all the rest you want to run. We've had some great crowds on Wednesday night, great racing. I want to thank Jim uh, for keeping our, uh, Jim Rupert for keeping our show going. Uh, for those of you who don't know, he's Roop Dog Motorsports. Uh, and he's done a great job of keeping our show rolling every night. Uh, I want to thank all you guys that are here tonight for, for your support. We've had a lot of fun. Uh, again, we've had some great racing. Uh, some of the guys that aren't couldn't make it tonight have, uh, uh, have brought the level of expertise up every week. That's it for now. Folks. Well, I'm here with Brian Moore, and Brian, man, we have got the two winning cars right here, man. I'll tell you what, you know, I think everybody's always interested in what the racer or what the winner is running out there because we want to go out and buy exactly what the winner's got usually so we can be fast too. So first of all, why don't you tell us here about your uh, modified, what you got in there, what kind of chassis it is, uh, speed control, battery if you want to go that far, anything you want to let us know about this winning modified here at Skips RC. Well, that's just a, a chassis with a, a Castle Creation motor, ESC, and uh, the battery's just a, a 5400. Yeah. And, and which Castle is it? Uh, 43, 57? It's a, a 46. 46. Yep. Okay. That's about all I know about it. I, I do run the stagger on it with the low C. And the suburb on the left rear gives me the stagger, yeah. so. It hooks, hooks up pretty good. I was say, man, up around the top of the track, I always hate it when they come out and they water the track just before the A-Main because, man, you are fast up around the top up there, and I'm trying to run around the bottom, and I can't do no good. Tell us a little bit about the sprint car, too. What is it? That is a, a, the same thing. It's a low-C slider straight off the shelf. The only difference is I've got a uh, custom works top wing on it and uh, the suburb on the left rear and it's it's a castle creations uh esc and motor also and once again he is running the stock losey tires on the front folks this is not anything else the only thing that's a different tire is the suburb that you're running on the left and that's just to give you a little stagger that's right and everything else springs shocks everything stock losey <laughs> right off the shelf man it's a uh, it, it's kind of nice when you can come out with a couple of sliders and these guys with the custom works and some of these others that are out here while well, you can kind of put it on them every once in a while anyway well i can't really run with some of these guys with their custom works but when they come out they know they got to be on their game to beat me <laughs> <laughs> there you go and of course as it is in real motorsports man consistency wins championships so that's that's one of the things is Brian you're just as consistent as you can be I can remember when you and Rick first showed out here with these yellow cars and the 55 on there and we used to go out and just mess around before and after the races man we had a lot of fun but man you have gotten super competitive and I mean you're right in the mix all the time well thank you thank you that was fun doing a lot of uh, close racing that way yeah. <laughs> thanks a lot okay once again your points champion at the summer season here at Skips RC Raceway for the Sprint Car and the Modified, Brian Moore. Brian, way to go, man. Thanks. I'm here with the Truck Points Champion for the summer season here at Skips, Larry Bailey. Larry, uh, tell us a little bit about this winning truck. I think I recognize most of it, but uh, tell us uh, what the chassis is, what speed control motor you're running, and the battery if you want to get into that. Uh, it's a low C, 
truck. I'm running suburb tires all the way around. I've got a uh, fused dynamite motor and speed control and a 5,000 battery, lot LiPo. And uh, once again, uh, man, it's been one of those that's been consistent. I noticed the only problem you've been having here lately is those ball, cup, ball cups on the front have been popping off on you a little bit, so I may have to go to something else. And you got a mosquito on you, sorry. But uh, Larry, congratulations on the great season here at Skips. And all I can say is I had a lot of fun running with you, run over you a few times, which I apologize for already. But uh, congratulations on winning the points championship. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm here with the novice winner, Mike Carmichael. Mike, uh, all I can say is, is, you know, the only thing that really keeps this sport going is people that come in all the time. And uh, like Skip said earlier, well, I think you and your son here started uh, pretty much at the early part of the summer or somewhere in there. But uh, what's for you has been probably one of the hardest things for you to, to learn about RC racing? Uh, just trying to keep the car going slow and getting to the corners and getting it to turn correctly without spinning out. I was going to say, I think that's what most beginners don't realize is that it just doesn't turn on its own, does it? You, you've got to kind of let off, let it kind of drift into the corner, make the turn, and then get back on the gas. Yes, that's yes. I was had a difficult time with that at first, but I'm starting to get the hang of it now. And it's all about timing. That's what it is because, man, I mean, you got to let off at the exact spot just about every time depending upon your position upon the track. But uh, all I can say is congratulations on your points championship, Mike. Thank you. I'm here with the core truck winner, Nathan Carmichael. Uh, Nathan, uh, all I can say is, man, just for starting out to come out here and really get into it like that and win the points championship, man, you've got to really be pleased. Yes. <laughs> okay, can you tell me a little bit about the truck that you've been running this year? What kind of chassis is it and speed control and maybe the battery that's inside? Um, the, the, um, the motor is a dy um, dynamite fuse. Uh, motor and has a 5,000 Venom Venom lipo battery. Okay, and what kind of chassis is this? I think I know, but you can tell me. A slash. It's a slash. Okay. Well, once again, let me say congratulations on uh, coming out there and kind of putting it on all of us. Uh, I know uh, you'll be looking forward to this winter season, right? Right. You, Dad, where you guys live? How far you have to drive to get her? Um. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, congratulations again, buddy. And like I say, looking forward to seeing you in here in this winter season. Okay. I'm here with Skip Pfizer, owner of Skip's RC. And Skip, uh, all I can say is, uh, I don't know about you, but I think it was a fairly successful summer season. I mean, I didn't get to make it all the time, but uh, we had a pretty good group most of the time. Yeah, we've had some good crowds. Uh you know, with, with the other race in town, we've been well pleased. Uh, we have a lot of plans for this fall. Uh, we're going to do the Sprint Spectacular again, which was a, a, a race where we donated money from each entry to a purse. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Eric at Hobby Town is willing to, to work with us to uh, give us some hobby bucks. So I think this year we'll, we'll probably have four or five races like that. We'll have a Sprint Spectacular, a, a late model show, a, a short course show as well as a, a uh, dirt mod and uh, we've had a lot of fun doing that we seem like we draw big crowds and, and again Mike like like you said earlier we've had some great racing this year real close competitive uh, the track isn't, be, isn't too hard on tires uh, I've been fortunate to run one set of tires uh, about a month or so and I race every time we race here so uh, we, we've the, the tracks really come around we've we've got it fairly smooth and it's not even the new guys are, are having good luck uh, getting around. So we've got a lot of fun plans planned for this winter. Uh, we've got the old wood so fired up again, keep it nice and toasty. Uh, you know, it, it gets cold sometimes, but uh, it's not so cold. You can't wear a long sleeve shirt and get by with it. Uh, let me ask you this, Skip. Do you have any plans, and I don't know that this is important to anybody, but it's, it's just kind of in the back of my mind as to how much or how often you're going to redo the track? Because I know it kind of always presents a, a new challenge to everybody to come out and see how the track is and what you're going to have to do to your car to get it set. And the track seems to stay pretty good most of the time once you get it run in. Yeah, we. Uh, I think last winter we did it about every six or eight weeks. Uh, when it starts to get rough or get some ruts, we grind it up. Uh, our landlords here are, are just great to work with us. He's got machinery to do that. Uh, and he, we've got a roller to roll it in. So I would say every six to eight weeks at the outside, uh, more often if the track starts to have problems. Uh, in the wintertime, we keep it covered. 
and it holds the moisture in a little better, uh, which helps a lot. Uh, so I'd say six or eight weeks, and, and uh, we'll, we try to keep up on Heartland RC or Midwest.net, and I let everybody know, but uh, we'll try to keep a smooth track. I mean, that's real important. It's, it's a whole lot more fun uh, when it's smooth opposed to bumpy, you know. Yeah. The only thing I can say about that is, is sometimes when the track's just a little bit more on the drier side, it seems like the faster guys go a little slower and the slower guys go a little faster. <laughs> and it kind of makes competition level uh, kind of uh, even out just a little bit. But uh, we might talk about the pricing schedule again. Uh, of course, I know you dropped it down from last year down to $15 for however many. Of course, I'm trying to take advantage of that. If things work out, I may be running six cars this year. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, I don't think a guy can pass up on that. I know everybody doesn't have five or six cars, but you know, fifteen bucks for two classes is not too bad. No, uh, not at all. It's it's ten dollars for the first entry, uh, five dollars for all the rest you want to run. Uh, a lot of folks have core tr uh, or the SC trucks, core trucks now. Uh, that's been a great class. Uh, just like you, the modified late models. Uh, we are running a uh, on the truck chassis, for example, an RC tent, uh, T4T, or uh, the low C uh, trucks. We are going to run modified bodies on those. It's a body of choice. Uh, it'll we'll still run a truck body if you choose, but uh, as you can contest, the the uh, modified bodies seem to perform a little better aerodynamically, uh, and so we'll, uh, the modified body on a truck chassis will be. Uh, the the standard. You're welcome to run a truck if you want to, but uh, it's we've really noticed that uh, we're here the last month or so we've really brought some truck bo or modified bodies out on trucks, yeah. and it's just boy they just handle like a dream. Yeah. It makes it a lot easier to drive <laughs> when one handles well, you know, yeah. and, and the body makes a big difference. Uh, uh, so we're going to do that, and if we have enough folks that want to, we'll run eight scale late model bodies on the core trucks. Again, that's been a lot of fun. Uh, I'm all in favor of race cars looking like race cars, uh -huh. and the short course trucks just don't quite come up to that standard. Yeah. Uh, there's some guys who've done some great paint jobs on their trucks, uh, Mojo and some of those guys have really got them looking pretty, uh -huh. uh, but our modified bodies just outperform the truck body a little better, as well as the, the eight scale bodies really work well on the short course trucks. You know. Okay, folks, all I can tell you is winter season is getting ready to come back, kids are in school, football starting on Friday night. And Skips RC is going to be running RC races on Saturday night right here at Skips RC, right here off of 45 Highway. If somebody out there is not familiar with it, you can come from Platte City on, what is that? 92 Highway to 45 at, at the little town of Beverly, and you come south. Uh -huh. Or you can get on 45 Highway uh, at, 4, at uh, 435 after you cross the river. Uh, you turn left and just stand up till you get to the big red barn. Yeah. <laughs> the big red bar, and of course, I, I come Barry Road and get on Jane something or another. Jones My Road, yeah. sure enough. Jones My Road. Kind of take the back road, nice hilly place, beautiful scenery out that way. All I can say, folks, is Skip's ready. A bunch of guys that race here all the time, we're ready. Come on out and see Skip out here at Skip's RC Raceway. And Skip, all I can say is, uh, once again, man, I appreciate everything you do. And I know financially this year's kind of been woo woo woo, touch and go. But we made it through the summer, which is the tough part, so hopefully we can get into the winter here part, part now and, and uh, get back on track with a little bit more finances. Absolutely. Uh, like Mike said, we run Saturdays and Wednesdays. Uh, and I want to thank you, Mike, for, for helping us out. You've been a great help to us, uh, uh, you know, spreading the word. And even with the big cars, it, it, it feels like we're always getting the word out there. The more RC racers we have, the more fun we're going to have. So. Speaking about that, how about some more of those guys in the big cars? You know Jake Richards has been running with us. Why, well, let's, some of you guys used to run with us before, Alan Lawrence, uh, some other folks. Man, get on out here, get you an RC car, and get back into it. But once again, thanks a lot, Skip. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate it. Take care. She gave up a new sofa for season tickets at the track. Yeah, my she sleep in a VW bus if 
Best friend.